mashallah close to putra jaya where i'm staying just a few minute drive should we do ibada only on the odd nights of ramadan or is it safe to do on all the 10 nights a similar question by 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 komila uh, by komila bangladesh does laylatul qadr fall on the 27th ramadan another question asked recently on the facebook by soikat wipes which night is there to qadr is it 21st night 23rd night 25th night 27th night or 29th night all three questions are similar let me tell you that no one knows exactly when is there to qadr a beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that search for the laylatul qadr in the last 10 nights so if you do ibada during all the last 10 nights then 100% inshallah you will get laylatul qadr then the prophet said peace be upon him that seek for the laylatul qadr in the last 10 nights but if you are weak and tired then do not miss the last 7 nights the prophet also said all these have been discussed with reference in few sessions before the prophet said seek for the laylatul qadr on the 29th 27th and 25th night of ramadan the prophet also said the 27th night of ramadan is laylatul qadr so from various hadith we come to know that the best if you 100% want to get laylatul qadr is do ibada for all the 10 nights last 10 nights of ramadan if you have difficulty and want little relaxation the next best would be last 7 nights then would be odd nights of the last 10 nights then would be three nights 29th 27th 25th night of ramadan and if you say i only want to do one night so the highest chances when i do qadr is on 27th of ramadan but please do not take it for granted if you do ibadah only on the 27th night of ramadan don't be cock sure that it is there are high chances means more chances than the other nine nights the odd nights have got more chances than the even nights so the best is all the 10 nights if you feel you cannot do every night then alternate nights is the next option high chances you'll get it but not for sure then last three odd nights 29 27 and 25 you only want one night if you want to do one night only and you cannot do more than that then 27th is the best option but you cannot be sure you'll get it there are probabilities high prob- probability possibility but not for sure so best a true muslim a true mu'min would do ibadah for all the 10 nights so that he does not miss it he does not miss it as allah says in the quran it's equal to a hun- a thousand months one night laylatul qadr inna anzalnahu fi laylatul qadr wa ma adraka ma laylatul qadr laylatul qadr khairun min alf shahr تنزل الملائكة والروح فيها بإذن ربهم من كل أمر سلامون حتى مطلع الفجر. That means this night is equal to a thousand months. It's equal to eighty-three point three three lunar years, eighty point seven solar years. It is more than eighty years. It's equal to your full life. An average human being lives lives for less than eighty years. It's equal to Twenty-seven thousand nine, twenty-seven, uh, twenty-nine thousand five hundred days. One night is equal to thousand months. One lunar month is twenty-nine and a half days. So one night of Lai Tuka that is equal to twenty-nine and a half thousand days. That means it is fifty-nine thousand times better. Now one night is average half twelve hours. So a Muslim cannot afford to miss it. We have already finished the first three nights in this part of the world. some parts only two hour remaining seven or eight are remaining i request all the brothers and sisters to do ibada during all the balanced nights of the ramadan